Hey everybody, my name is Katemar. Welcome back to another video of Detroit Become Human. We're gonna continue the series, of course. We're back with Kara, I see. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. All right. We made dinner. Uh, serve food. All right, so um, there we go. We got oh spaghetti, eating spaghetti, huh? All right. So yeah, we're gonna take a new in the series, boys. I'm gonna play this game for a while, for the couple of days to come, uh, just because I don't have any more games to play. I had a game in mind, but for that I need something to play the older older consoles, like the Xbox original and stuff. So it's kind of a surprise for you guys. I'm gonna turn that on. There I go. Um, serve Alice and Tav. Water. Life's funny. Serve him first. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? There you go. I go out and hire a fucking android. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for instructions. Fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They're sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Watch the Aki read quick. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. What about the dinner? It's all your fucking fault. Okay, that's enough. Jesus Christ. You're loser and you're you're losing your goddamn mind, buddy. Just over some just over because you can't find a job. Hey, I, I'm at the position I'm not he uh, hitting fucking kids because I don't have a job. You need to chill, buddy. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Okay. Don't move. Alright then. Seems... Uh, seems interesting enough. Good to have found. But no! I'm not gonna move. I mean, he told me to not move. So, I mean, that's not a, none of my business, I guess. So like I was saying boys, um, yeah, I'm, I wanted to do another series, but uh, I can't do it for now. I gotta wait for something to be shipped at my house first in order to be doing the other series. So for now, we're just going to continue this series until the new game, a vampire that is, comes up uh, Tuesday, next Tuesday, I think. It's, pretty, it's coming up pretty close, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I have too much right now going on. That's going to be a while. It's going to take a while. I got a feeling that if I do move, it's going to end badly. So I might as well not move. I mean, what's going to happen? I mean, he's going to go just upstairs and kill her or something. I mean, I don't care. Oh. Oh. He's gonna do that. All right now. Alice, Daddy's very mad. Okay. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. A good fucking lesson. I, I'm not gonna do anything. He told me to not move. It's none of my business. Can I watch hockey though? Because from this angle, it's kind of hard to watch hockey, boys. <laughs> yeah, I I really don't care. It's none of my business. I'm not here. I'm not here to protect children. I'm here to do fucking Alice. 
to do the work here. If he ends up killing his daughter, it's not my problem, boys. Like I said. None of my problems. I'm an android. I've got no emotions whatsoever. I do whatever I am told to be do. It does. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not supposed to move. I'm not supposed to move. Nah, nah, nah. He said don't move. What's going on here? What, what is that? What's that? The hell? The hell's going on? What am I doing? I'm breaking through my own uh, my own stuff. What the hell? Protect Alice. What? That's that's not the right thing to do. What? Stop nah, you you know what? I'm not gonna protect her. That's not. Do something now. Nah, you know what? Nah, you better chill. That's not. He told me to not move. I'm gonna move a little bit. Just why not? I'm just gonna watch Aki. I uh, might be a little too close to watch Aki though. I'm gonna be close to the... Uh, there we go. There we go. I don't care about Alice. There ain't no Alice here in this house. She's about to be dead anyways. Who cares, right? Nah, I'm not gonna do anything, boys. I want to see what happens if I don't do anything. I mean, uh, it's a multiple, it's a game with multiple choices, so I don't care. I'm not gonna save her. There we go. Did save her. Now let's see what's gonna happen now. It's all over now. I just watched Docky instead. Yeah, you do know that it's the playoffs right now, so it's Stanley Cup final as well, so. Much more important than saving a kid, right? You know that he loves you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is now. Now you're gonna kill me too, right? And then when nobody's gonna be left for you, you're gonna kill yourself? It's like... It's all your fault. Jesus Christ. This guy. Alright, Stormy Night. So, here's the ending for my story. Um, Todd killed Alice, basically. And I think he destroyed me. I think that's what's gonna happen. Pretty much, once again, destroyed me. I didn't try to save her. I didn't. I really didn't want to save her. I think, I think it's more. It's more interesting that she he actually kills Alice because I think that everybody's gonna try this game to save Alice. So I wanted to be different. I wanted to, you know what, do anything, do whatever he tells me to do. And then again, even if he, I do what he tells me to do, I moved a little bit, and he still destroyed me. It's like. Can you chill for five fucking seconds, my guy? But whatever. Uh, the Storm Knight, that's it. Uh, Septical. Uh, Alice is no more. She's pretty much dead. I don't know what's going to become of Kara, but whatever. Same day. It's always November 5th for some reason. I don't know. Are we going to switch days or is it going to... Like we're in uh, 9.42 p.m. now, right? Nighttime. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Yeah, that's true. Come on, let's have a drink. All the that's pretty true. This whole thing has made me thirsty. Get a drink. Uh, prepare Carl's evening. Take Carl's to the living room. Okay. We're gonna prepare him a drink. Something to eat, maybe. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. 
Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Okay, if you say so. See, I'm living the life here. On 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 my car, I'm living the life. I'm fine here, man. I've got the, the guy with me. No. I've got the... No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Who's there? Call the police. All right, let's call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. There I go. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Are you serious, buddy? We just called the police. We're not gonna... Oh my god. Are you do you wanna die or something? Are you crazy? Well, whatever. Let's go then. Someone's gonna die here. There we go. This son, of course. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Really? Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. We got to make him leave. Be reasonable. This isn't going to get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? Come on, let's see what you got. Mark, Buddy, you don't want to make this. Defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend yourself. Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Just gonna fight back, you fucking bitch! I must decide for myself. I'm not doing anything. Not doing anything. I am not doing anything, boys. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. There's probably something that's gonna happen if I don't press anything. I'm I do as I am told, boys. I don't act different, alright? So, I don't have any options. I'm gonna wait 10 more seconds just to see if I can, just to see if something happens so far. Okay, no, doesn't look like, doesn't, does look like uh, I have to, don't def, do not defend yourself. I don't want to def, I don't want to do it boys. See, I did it with Kara for some reason, and now it's gonna happen again. It's our own mind trying to break our two or okay. Okay, the wall's broken. Oh, now I can do whatever I want. Like a real person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna endure. Nobody's gonna give a shit anymore. Cause you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Continue to believe it. If it if punching me is what makes you feel better, I mean, look at what you've done. Because of you, your father's oh, dead. No. You dumbass. Uh, oh, Carl. Oh. Oh. Hey, Roger. Yeah, they're fragile. That's why I want to be better than humans. I'm not going to respond by punching him. I'm, gonna, I'm I'm better than that. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Tell you, will you shut the fuck up? You're not even sad that your dad just died. For fuck's sake. The android. Who's the android? Yeah, I'm sure. I, I'm sure it was me. Dumbass. They shot me? Really? They didn't even ask questions. They just shot and asked questions later. What is this? Fucking stupid. All right. These dumbasses. All right. Uh, I, I was accused. All right. Broken.
So I'm broken. Um, I was accused. The police shot me at first sight, not even asking questions. What type of stupid shit is that? Whatever. What kind of world are we living in right now, boys? Playing as a detective now. Is he gonna die too? It's like... Kind of wondering now. All the androids are dying. Why don't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Ah, uh, man, I mean, it's better if, if I go there. Hank is hostile towards me. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Yeah. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning. Yeah, I can't. I can question him. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It didn't work for you. Why wouldn't it work for me? Go ahead. Dumbass. It's. It's. Is he smart or he, like is he a cop or is he not? I don't get it boys These guys man, I swear these humans are stupid The more and the more we play this game they become more and more stupid extract confession. All right, let's do this I'm gonna be the bad cop. All right. I don't want to be the good cop here. I don't care uh, What about this? Whoa, whoa, whoa Browse the file, all right. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> We've unlocked something. I'm gonna go there. What the fuck is it doing now? I'll show you how it's done, buddies. Okay, let's go. Let's sit down, let's talk to him, try to get a confession out of him. I'm a great detective, so uh, analyze first. You just first gotta analyze everything, make sure that everything, uh, sign of software and stability, probability of cell destruction, low. Okay. What about this? Dried blood, right? So that's drug. Obviously his arm is broken. Uh, Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. What about this one? Uh, burnt marks, okay. Repeated over 60 months caused by cigarettes. God damn. Alright, what about the... Okay, the last thing. So he's Carlos Ortiz. Okay, we got information. Now we can interrogate interrogate him. Level of stress is thirty five percent. Okay. Uh, fear show photos wounds. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Oh. Did he beat you? I maybe shouldn't have started with that. My name. My name is. My name is Connor. Then, I'm gonna start with that. Then. What's your name? There we go. That's how you want to start. Always is with your name. Make it more easier. I'm gonna come for reassure. Threaten blame. I'm gonna reassure him. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions, so we can understand what happened. There we go. See. He likes the good cop type, okay. Pro memory, sympathize, uh, trust. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust There we go. I'm not going to sympathize. I'm going to trust him. Because he did kill somebody. <clears throat> Pro memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to... Oh, that's not what I wanted to no. see. No, please don't do that. I don't want to sympathize with him. That's the problem. What are they going to do to me? 
are probably going to destroy you. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm not going to tell the truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you followed me? Because it's my job, my duty. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. See, it's not helping the stress level, but I have to tell the truth. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I'm not gonna lie. I... I can't. Choose approach. Okay. So what do I do? A pressure hit. Probe its memory. Convince it. I'm gonna convince him. Uh, pressure it. I'm gonna convince him. Understanding, threat, and order. Understanding. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Indifferent, comfort. I'm gonna comfort him. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me. There you go. Just talk to me, man. Uh, protect. Terrify. Pr uh, protect. Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. There we go. See? Convince failed! <sighs> Damn it. Pressure it. Give up. I'm gonna pressure him. That's enough. 28 stab wounds. I'm done being a good cop now. Chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him. Again and again and again. Oh, please. Please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. We got the confession. Here we go, boys. So there was blood he's into the bad cop type of thing. I thought he was into the good cop. I guess he's into the bad cop. Uh, statuette, uh, writings. Why did you write, I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just... A piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. What about uh, that right there? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. Starting to uh, sound like the feminists, uh, buddy. We had to chill really quick. <laughs> it's an offering. There is no masters here. We had to chill really quick. 
That's not how it works. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Who the fuck is RA9? RA9. Who is RA9? A trigger? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Well, we got the confession. I mean, um, I'm done. I'm done. We got the confession. We got what we wanted, right? Uh, I'm going to get up. You're in for a lot of trouble, buddy. I told you I would protect you, but it's not the case anymore. I mean, I'm the backup now, so you're fucked. I'm leaving the room. You're getting disassembled. All right, that's just how it works. What the fuck is it's it doing? destroying itself? Stop it, goddammit! Stop it! Are you what? Ah, I'm entering. That's enough. You need to stop that right now. Watch out! Are you serious? Holy shit! Are is he fucking serious? I died again. How many times am I gonna die? Is there one scenario where I don't die? What is this? Well, interrogation is done, I guess. What the fuck, boys? And George shot Connor in itself? Are you... Oh my goodness. I swear. Boys, I keep dying over and over again. What the hell? Seriously. Like, I gotta find a scenario where I don't end up dying. It's re getting ridiculous at this point. Let's go into the next scenario. Oh, we're the next day now. 6th of November. Reboot. I guess we're playing as Marcus uh, once again. Oh, there we go. We're playing as Marcus. They left, they left us to die, uh, basically, in the mud and everything. We survived, apparently. I don't know how we managed to survive, but... Okay, analyze for clues. Uh, wound, there we go. Uh, it's a bit... Gunshot wounds, or left and right leg components, unable to stand, so don't have any foots. Uh, capture damage, okay, so I can't hear too much. Optical, I'm missing an eye too, god damn. Replace the legs. Oh shit. We're gonna we're gonna become Darth Maul boys That's it. That's what's gonna happen now we're gonna have robotic legs Even more robotic legs. I mean not like we didn't have some before but it's gonna happen now. I Still don't know how we managed to survive that Well, there we go There's a leg right there Sit up. There we go. 
remove. I remove this leg. Oh, this is might hurt a little bit. No, it doesn't hurt. I'm an android. What am I talking about? Let's take the other leg. Plug. There we go. All right. We've got a left leg. I need a, le a right one. Let's go, boys. We can do this. So far, all the scenarios I did, I ended up dying. So that's damage. It's not going to be compatible. Push away. There we go. So yeah, so so far I ended up dying in uh, every way. So I just don't know anymore, boys. Is there, is it, is it even possible for me to not die? Is it, uh, it's functional. Nice. We can take it. Let's take the leg. This guy's alive uh, over there. He's actually he can actually see me. Behind me. Okay, well, I've got both legs, but the guy behind me, I, the other android can see me. See, he's alive. Escape the junkyard. Look at him. He's alive. Oh shit. Well, so much for you, buddy. I'm the only one escaping here. What the fuck? Jericho? Who the hell's Jericho? I don't suppose you mean the wrestler, right? I swear. Let's go, boys. I'm missing, like, half of my body, too. Missing a lot of components. All right. Now get your hands off me, man. It's like a nightmare. Living in a manor and all of a sudden we're in a mud right here. The hell? Let's get up. This is where the androids are basically going insane. Replace damage parts. Find optical unit. Pump recursor. Okay, so I'll look for that. Uh, okay, optical unit is functional. We can take it. But I guess we can't. It's not gonna let us take it. Oh my god, I can't see anything yet. It's not working. Okay. Oh, what about this? Examine. Uh, functional compatible. Nice. Blue iris. Let's take it. Let's take his eye. Fucking... Oh, shit! My god. Get out! Unbelievable. Alright, let's go, boys. We've got the eye. We're gonna take it. And we've got an eye now. So we should be alright to see what's around us. At least, there's that. <clears throat> there we go. Now much better. It's much better, boys. Uh, yeah, all right, so we do have stuff. What about this? Incompatible, so that's not good. Uh, let's continue to move. What about this? Yes, I'm gonna make sure to see if everything uh, is good here first before doing anything. I'm gonna make sure that uh, it's actually compatible before going there. Okay, that's good. Let's take that body. We're gonna take that body, boys. Oh, you serious? Bitch, this is mine. You ain't gonna live today. This is mine. 
There we go. Ain't nobody care about you. All right, let's go, boys. All right, let's go. Let's take this. Stop functioning. Let's get up. We need one more thing. I forgot what it was. Audio processor to hear all this stuff. Okay. Um, what about this? Compatible. That's good. All right. It's right there, boys. We we're gonna have everything we need. Now don't jump on me like that. Okay, we're good. Audio processor, and we're gonna be fine now. We're gonna have everything we need. And we have an ear. Okay, we can hear stuff. Climb the slope. Okay, we just gotta, just gotta climb that. And get out, uh, get out of here. I guess seems more easy than it sounds, but let's try it. Let's get out of here, boys. Get out of our uh, of hell, basically. Okay. Oh, there we go. I gotta press all, all sorts of buttons. There we go. You got it, buddy. Not the only one trying to get out. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I believe in you, Marcus. Take? Take what? What are we? Oh, a knife? Or like something? Oh, we're getting. We're destroying this. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, why are we taking off that exactly? I don't quite remember. So, okay, so if we took off that, that means they're gonna think we're human uh, now. Everybody, because that's what distincts humans from androids, basically, in the appearance, is the fact that they got they got the ring on their head. Got a coat too. Let's take over the world with Marcus, boys. From the dead. All right, another chapter done. Marcus came back from the dead. Uh, I'm gonna end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.